Hey guys, so for this video, I'm going to be talking about how to improve your shotgun aim. Some of you guys may remember, I made a shotgun tips and tricks video like a month ago. In it, I talked about general techniques, useful practice methods, as well as secret pro strats to hit more shots. Well, the problem with that video is that I made it specifically for shotguns other than the pump. I guess Epic must have seen it, they love to just go and ruin my videos, and they randomly decided to remove the lever, the tack, and the dragon's breath. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm not too mad since I really do like the pump, I feel like it's way more fun to use. All it means is that I have to make an updated pump shotgun aim video. That is what this is. So I hope you're all excited, drop a like if your pump aim is butt cheeks on a stick like mine is, and without further ado, let's get right on into it. To start off, I want to cover a topic that Reddit calls Trigger Discipline. I've touched on this topic in the past, specifically in my older videos, shout out to all the goats who watch those. Essentially, Trigger Discipline is the skill of knowing when to shoot and when not to shoot your shotgun. A really good example of this is the one I saw from Reddit. It's of Mongrel, we see him sneaking up on high ground, when he spots an opponent, lasers him, and then immediately after that, he finds another opponent, this time drops on the kid's head, hits him with a fat pump shot, and then finally finishes him off with his AR. Oh yeah, Mongrel also absolutely destroyed the last kid. Mongrel is just way too good, okay? Now, where the trigger discipline comes into play here is not on the first kid, it's actually on the second. You see, as he drops in his opponent, he chooses not to shoot until his crosshair is perfectly lined up on the guy's head. This not only makes his pump shot way more accurate, since he had extra time to make sure he hit his shot, but it also allows him to do way more damage since he's technically positioned closer to his opponent. Any other player, including myself, we would not have taken the shot that late. I know for a fact I would have taken the shot as soon as I saw the guy, or at least at the top of when I started falling down from the ramp. Another example of good trigger discipline can be seen in this absolutely insane clip by FaZe Martas. Right off the bat, Martas does exactly what Mongrel did by waiting to line up the shot after he bounced off the tire. From there, Martas shows off the other aspect of trigger discipline, this time by waiting for his opponent to come down from his jump, the opponent's jump, at which point he finally takes the shot. You guys see the difference? Difference, right? He literally holds on to his shot until the guy is in an easy position for him to hit. If you go to any of Martas' videos, he will piece someone up and then rather than instantly shooting, he will hesitate and almost stop moving. He could obviously go for a really insane creative warrior play where he shoots instantly, but Martas knows that's not always gonna work. The most consistent way to hit your shot is to have good trigger discipline. And just thinking about this topic now, this is why controller players like Day or Lechi have insanely consistent aim. Even if they want wanted to flick their crosshair around like a keyboard player, they could not because they have a joystick, they are on controller. The only real way they could mess up their shot is if they shot too early, which like I said, is an aspect of trigger discipline. But in a weird way, controller players have semi-decent trigger discipline by default. Maybe aim assist isn't the only thing they have going for them, huh? Seriously though, you need to work on your trigger discipline. No matter who you're up against or what scenario you are in, having good trigger discipline will always help you out. As to how you should improve your trigger discipline or how you can, I'd say just train yourself to be more patient, maybe go into creative, after you make an edit, take a little more time to line up your shot, sometimes trigger discipline will involve you waiting for your opponent to get into the perfect spot, and sometimes it will be the opposite, it will be you waiting for yourself to get into the perfect position to hit that perfect shot. One or the other will not always work. However, with enough practice and with enough Papa Jarian videos watched, you can undoubtedly improve this aspect of your shotgun name. Martas approved. The next shotgun tip I have is very simple, it is to ADS or aim down sight more often. ADSing, aka right clicking with your mouse, or I think left bumper on controller, hopefully that's not wrong, it has a lot of different benefits. First off, it will make you hit higher damage shots no matter where you hit your opponent. Just think about it, when you ADS with your shotgun, your crosshair or the spread gets tighter, and that means there will be more pellets within the spread, and the more pellets there are that hit your opponent, the more damage you will do no matter where it is. Second off, ADSing should make you more accurate. Why I say should instead of will is because it does not always apply for everyone. Most people, including myself, play on a lower ADS sensitivity than 100%. That means when you aim down sight, your aim is going to be a percentage of your normal hip fire aim. A percentage slower, that is. Thus, because your crosshair is slowed down when you aim down sight, you technically should hit more shots. Third and final reason you should be ADSing more often is because all the best pump players do. Whether it's while holding an angle, following up a quick edit, 
Reddit play, or even just in the middle of a big trio fight. Players like FaZe Martos and FaZe Mongrel, I mentioned them before for a reason. They ADS a lot more often than other players do. Oh, and that reminds me, I want to show off a cool little strat that Mongrel uses while ADSing. As you can see, Mongrel's in the middle of a duo fight when he takes the guy's wall, gets off a quick shot, gets off another two quick shots, the first of which is while ADSing, and then after a bit of spraying at the guy's wall, secures the kill on the second duo. What most people do not realize about this clip is that Mongrel actually ADS the first two shots, not just the second. I'll put it in slow motion so you can see. Mongrel, after he makes the edit, ADSs very quickly, shoots, and then instantly un-ADSs to reset the floor. When you compare that to the second shot, which he pretty much ADSs for almost a solid second or two, you can see there is a huge distinction. Most people, when they hear of ADSing, think of what Mongrel did the second time, holding down right click for a few seconds, but that's not really what Mongrel does a lot. He'll do his little strat where he quickly ADSs and un-ADSs. He will do it so fast that you can barely see it at full speed. But Jarian, what's the point of it? I'm glad you asked, little Timmy. Because he's ADSing that quickly, he still gets the Titan spread while he shoots, but he will not be stuck aiming down sight for too long like most people think you will be. It's pretty genius, right? Additionally, ADSing with your shotgun does relate to trigger discipline. Once you learn to be more patient with your shots, you'll actually learn that you can use that time you're waiting to aim down sight. That's what Martos does. He knows he's gonna wait to line up the shot, so you might as well aim down sight in the meantime. That way your pump will hit harder than it normally would. It's so smart! Last thing I want to say before I move on is that this is not me telling you to ADS every pump shotgun shot. That is bad. You should be hip firing most of your shots. However, for certain situations in which your opponent is caught off guard, you're making a quick edit play, whatever the heck it is, don't be afraid to ADS with your shotgun. You will start hitting more shots and doing way more damage with your pump. To finish up the video, I want to talk about sensitivity. No matter what input you play or what platform you are on, your sensitivity is extremely important to having good shotgun aim. Notice how I said sensitivity in general though. There seems to be a notion, which I may have been a part of, I apologize, that a lower sensitivity automatically means you're going to have better shotgun aim. I mean, in a way you would think it makes sense, you're not going to over flick as much, you'll probably have better trigger discipline. In reality however, it's just not true for everyone. Take Mr. Savage for example. Mr. Savage is the best solo player in the world. He also plays on a crazy high sense for a pro player. I believe it's like 1450 DPI, 7.5% in-game sense. It's really high. Me, on the other hand, I play on pretty much the opposite. 800 DPI, 5.5% in-game sense. My sense is really, really slow. Can you guess who has better shotgun aim? It's not me, okay? It's not me! Just because I play on a lower sense does not mean I'm gonna hit more shots than people like Mr. Savage. You need to find a sensitivity that you are comfortable with and master it. That's kind of what Mr. Savage did. He stuck with high sense, he became a wrist aimer, he got used to using a little bit of his mouse pad, he successfully trained himself to be good on a high sense. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, the one and only way to improve your shotgun aim, outside of watching my tips and tricks videos of course, is to practice. It could be 1v1 aim duels, in-game aim trainers, Kovac, arena, box fights, zone wars, any of those things work to improve your aim. I said at the beginning of the video I made an aim tips and tricks video before, even though it was not for the pump, I still covered a bunch of different ways that you guys definitely should go and watch. In fact, you don't even really need to play Fortnite. All the ways I showed are very good, but what my duo take in and a ton of pro players like Vadil and Boogadoo is they play Valorant. They play other games to work on their mouse control and their overall aim because they use the same sense. It sounds dumb, but it works, okay? Thus, I am sorry for going on a little bit of a tangent. My mind is kind of all over the place right now. <gasps> Just keep in mind that you can get good shotgun aim no matter what sensitivity you play on. Just practice! Overall guys, those are my best and most useful tips to improve your- Overall guys, those are my best and most useful tips to improve your shotgun aim. Master trigger discipline, start ADSing more often, not all the time though, and grind whatever sensitivity you prefer. As long as you follow what I said, something that I do not do, your shotgun aim will undoubtedly improve. So if you enjoyed the video or you learned something new, do be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel somewhere down here, and to turn on my post notifications. Shout out to everyone in this game for using code Jarian, I appreciate each and every one of you. Even if you're not on the screen, I do appreciate you for watching or for using my code. Let me know if you do. I want to shout out everyone at least once. It is my main goal in life. Otherwise, that's it from me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Later.